Trying to, trying to right the wrongs. Uh, I mean, we'll, we'll talk about it on the touchscreen, but there was, there was a few players there. When you think of Liverpool, you should never, ever question, question the desire or the commitment. And that was one thing that Jürgen Klopp will go in the dressing room and he, he'll pick a few players apart there, and quite rightly so. Uh, and it, it is just about getting the confidence up. The Liverpool haven't started the confidence this year. They look a bit laboured, they look a bit lethargic. Uh, they're not doing the, the fluency that we've seen Liverpool in the past. Um, and, and look, for all of Liverpool's fault, Napoli were, were very, very good and he made it. But Napoli, the, the Liverpool'd Liverpool, uh, Liverpool do to teams what you know, we see mm. Napoli do. And Jürgen's got a, he's got a bit of work to do. I think a big issue for, for Liverpool at this moment in time is that too many of their big star uh, players that they've relied on in recent years are not nowhere near the levels that they've, they've produced. And we've become accustomed to seeing Salah's not at the levels that where he was before in terms of output. V Virgil van Dijk the same. Um, Fabinho even looks a little bit off it. And, and you can go through the whole team. Trent Act, the two fullbacks mm -hmm. look off it in terms of that. I think the goalkeeper. Louis Diaz has shown good glimpses, but when you're a manager, you look at your team and go, well, there's, uh, normally I can rely on three or four of them big names to produce performances. He's not getting that at the moment. By the way, this is a Napoli team who lost the spine of their team over the summer. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Over 1,300 appearances between the four uh, players that Robbie mentioned before the game going. So uh, they're piecing things together. They're not the finished product. Um, but they look like they've recruited well. They had that high intensity right at the start. They just blew Liverpool away early on. And as Robbie says, it's normally Liverpool that do that to other teams. Um, and it's just, it's just not there at the moment. I think Luis Diaz is probably the only person really over the first chunk of the season that can hold his head up high. I mean, even in poor performances from the team, he's still you know, the standout performer. So, uh, yeah, lots to do and right, do, uh, do, do, a long way to go. You guys are probably have a bit more insight in the Liverpool dressing room than... Do you see Jurgen Klopp going in there and, and tearing shreds out of people? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. The chuckle tells you all you need to absolutely. know. Absolutely. Um, look, Jurgen's a nice lad, or a nice fella. We all know that, hey, but there's a mean side to him. Uh, and I said before, players will go into that dressing room and they will be terrified because Jurgen will, will tear them a new one. Mm. He really will. Uh, and, and you know what? They deserve it. Mm. You know, he'll wish he had the strength and depth right now, won't he? Those injuries are a problem for him. He can't make too many changes. No, he can't, but do you know what, Jake? It's a familiar pattern in a way. Um, whenever Liverpool have got game weekends and no midweek games, it seems like there's a lot of problems, a lot of injuries in training. Happened a while ago as well. I think Liverpool are at the best when they're playing two games a week. Hmm. You know, when they're just recovering and playing again, recovering. Well, that's what they've got again. now. They've got Wolves at yeah, the week, and then they've got I Ajax. Think that hmm. They get into a rhythm like that. I think when they play once a week, I'm not sure. You know, I know one or two members of staff have, have been let go as well from the sports science side. You know, there's been an awful lot of injuries on the training ground, almost self-inflicted. Mm. Um, so that's something they've obviously got to get right. But as I say, it's get, you know two games a week from now. And I think Liverpool probably suit that. I think what they've got to do is they've got to get around each other and build that team togetherness that they they became really successful on. And you, you can't do nothing without that togetherness. And at the moment, it looks like I'm playing for me and I'm playing for me. They need to be a unit. Get back to basics, what they were good Rio, at. can I ask you a question? You know, defensively in your pride, so, you know, we know the way Liverpool play, and they, they are an offensive team, and they want to go forward, they want to score goals. But, you know, when you're playing away in Europe, in a, in a tight ground, in a, you know, where the atmosphere is really against you, you shut up shop. You know, make sure you're hard to beat. You don't have to score goals in the first five minutes. You, you want to you be defensively solid, work your way into the game, and then, obviously, see how the game pans out. Liverpool are not doing that. They want to try and win the game in the first five minutes, and they get caught out. Yeah, and, and they've conceded a lot of early goals this season, and because they've gone into the game... We spoke to, to Klopp before a game um, at Anfield recently, and he mentioned take target attitude from, from the warm-up into the first early part of the game, and they've done it again here. They got punished, and, yeah, I agree with you. When you're a defender, especially, the fullbacks in today's game are playmakers and they're high. But there are times when you've got to smell a game out and go, actually, let's just sit and wait. But then you might need a Gomez or a Van Dijk to be dictating that as well and say, listen, you stay in there and we'll wait and let the game develop and then you can get up the pitch and then dictate the game. But, again, with hindsight, it's easy to say that. OK, well, uh, looking at social media, Liverpool fans have got plenty of opinions. Some saying Jurgen Klopp just needs a bit of time to sort this out. Others are slightly more concerned than that and uh, think that there is some serious surgery required at Liverpool. Whatever your opinion, we want to hear from you. Use the hashtag UCL tonight. We're live until 11.30 this evening. If you want to join in the conversation on that show, make sure that you're with us. Uh, UCL tonight is the hashtag. We'll also look at all the other games from this evening. We'll show you every goal from across the Champions League tonight before we get into our chats. Uh, we've also got plenty more football still to come from Europe this week. Of course, we're also the home 
of the Europa League and the Europa Conference League. So you can see Arsenal, they've got an early kickoff. 5-15 against Zurich tomorrow. Manchester United are also at home. We've got Hearts in action, West Ham, Shamrock Rovers as well in the Europa Conference League. So there's so much football over the next 24 hours for you. And of course, a busy weekend here on BT Sport as well. But after the break, we're going to delve deep on what went wrong for Liverpool. We're going to ask why is it going wrong? And we're going to hear from Jurgen Klopp, who's the man charged with turning it around. Stay where you are. We'll see you in a couple of minutes.